Hey, how you doing? It's John here from Wimbledon Strength Club, and I want to talk to you today about actually um, believing you can get the results you want. Uh, a lot of guys that I talk to have left it a really, really long time until they finally came down to see me at the Wimbledon Strength Club, hoping to get results that they'd wanted literally for years and years. Uh, and there are things that have been putting them off, uh, and they all come down to actually a lack of self-belief, a lack of belief that they can actually really truly achieve what they want to achieve, or a lack of belief that they deserve to achieve it. And I wanna talk about that with you today. So the way I see it, there are three big problems that are creating uh, this lack of self-belief for people when it comes to fitness and health. The first one is people having unrealistic goals. So the first big problem you're going to be aiming too high sometimes. You're going to want a shredded physique and, and big chest and big arms and everything you see in, in muscle mag and men's health. You may think that that's going to be the answer. You may think that that's what you're supposed to want because everyone tells you that you should want to get shredded and you should want this and you should want that. But that might, need, that might not be right for you right now. And if it's not, inherently you're not going to believe that you can do it. The second big problem is media misrepresentation. So they will try and push their version of perfect onto you. Now, generally this is more related um, like traditionally to uh, beauty products and beauty magazines and girls and skinny models and everything else. But actually it's the same for guys. So everywhere we're exposed to any kind of health or fitness message, it's by some buff dude with a six pack and a tan and he's getting six packs and tans and he's telling everyone have a six pack and a tan but look this is a misrepresentation of what health and fitness is this is a misrepresentation of what it means to be strong and muscular and fit and healthy and at the end of the day feel really good about yourself but because that's all you see, you kind of think that that's what you're supposed to want. And then you know you can't get it, therefore you don't believe in yourself. You end up never trying. The third big problem is thinking that when you finally do get that six pack, if it ever happens, that that's gonna be the answer to your problems. People have this idea that getting a six pack or getting 9% body fat is somehow going to magically cure all their problems with their confidence, their sex life, their work, uh, their, their low self-esteem and everything else. And I'm speaking from experience here, when you do get the six pack, nobody acts any differently towards you whatsoever. And it can almost be an anticlimax because you, you wake up one day, you're shredded or whatever, you've got the six pack or whatever, and you're like, wow, I finally got the body, now I'm finally enough. I mean, that's actually couldn't be further from the truth. The truth is, whatever you are now, whoever you are now, and wherever you're at right now, is already enough. And trying to get the six pack is uh, an ad admirable goal. It could be a fun thing to do. It's a great focus if you're in a position to try and do that, but it's not gonna fix you or make you enough. That comes from the inside, not from the fact that you've got visible abdominal muscles. So then what happens is you feel like a failure if you try to get the results and you don't get them. You feel insignificant because you think everybody else is getting those results, but you're not. And you end up with a total lack of direction because you think, well, if I can't do this, what the hell do I do? Well, luckily for you, I know men who are exactly like you and in the same boat because they, they come down and train with me down at the Wimbledon Strength Club and they're all 35, 40, 45 years old and very regularly I hear the phrase, I wish I'd done this years ago, okay? Um, but the ability uh, to get the results you want is definitely there and I'm just gonna tell you now how we do it and how that could possibly work for you as well. The first thing to do is set believable goals. Set believable goals where you truly believe that you can achieve them. Now, losing 12 stone in 12 weeks is not a believable goal. Losing 12 kilos in 12 weeks is not a believable goal. It is doable, but that doesn't mean you might believe in it. Getting to the gym three times a week for a month, now that's a believable goal. Drinking less Coca-Cola, smoking less fags, going to the pub less, 
Those are believable goals. So that's the first thing is just to set those believable goals and they don't even have to be, you know, the bar doesn't have to be that high, okay? The second one is to find like-minded people. If you're 40 years old and you're running a company or you're a partner at a firm or you're, a, you're, you're, you're very high up in senior management in your career, you're a busy man. If you're married and got kids, you're even busier. You don't want to be in a gym with 21-year-olds with their back-to-front baseball caps and their rolled-up T-shirts chewing gum and taking selfies. That's the wrong environment for you. You need to be with guys like you, similar age, similar kind of drive and ambition, similar desire to achieve things. And you wanna keep that group small and intimate so you know everybody there. That's gonna be the perfect environment for you to start to get these results in. And the third one is then to train inside of your comfort zone. Don't try and go all CrossFit or all insanity or this go hard or go home mentality rubbish that's out there these days. Go out, find a gym, find a trainer, find some like-minded people where you can actually start at the right place for you and build on it from there. And I promise you, if you do those things, in three months time, you won't believe the progress that you've made. And then your levels of self-belief and what you might be able to achieve in another three months is gonna be so much higher. Cool, that's all for now, peace out.